Hello, Amber Nightwolf. This is the practitioner. Uh, I'm an agnostic, and um, I have a rather unique position on all of this in that I have Asperger's syndrome, uh, an autistic spectrum disorder. So I can view uh, large chunks of these uh, moral questions from a rather unique perspective. And um, I'd like to comment on your video response to the other guy. I also made one to him. Uh, uh, first things first, going in reverse order, um, about your concerns about the um, the DNA aspects. Uh, uh, the DNA aspects, don't worry. I already made a video response to him, uh, which was highly centered around DNA, and I gave plenty of historical examples about where incest uh, caused severe problems for the family groups where that was in. So um, don't worry, I've already given him that particular uh, uh, <coughs> rundown, so that won't be an issue. Um, the next thing back is uh, is where you're just simply saying that the uh, you'd have to view um, you know, you have to uh, consider that uh, uh, the, the relationship where that uh, something like this was happening would have to be gross. So, like it would have to be a gro uh, it's a gross thought or it would have to be a warped relationship. Not necessarily. It is entirely possible um, for two people to uh, love each other as long as, um, of course, there would have to be understanding about using protection. Again, DNA reasons, yada, yada, yada. Um, it would only be warped by our standards. Remember that um, here's a here's a thing I'll uh, let you know about. Um, every perversion, uh, se uh, every sexual tendency that we have had as humans has been documented by Jane Goodall, Diane Fossey, and the likes of uh, a a a and the likes in chimps and gorillas. Uh, this includes everything from pedophilia to incest to um, well, incest in smaller amounts, but you get the idea. Uh, to incest, to uh, uh, to husband and wife stealing, to um, oh god, I can't remember. I think I think bondage is about the only one they don't have. But anyway, um, again, I could probably cite you directly to some of the other resources again later if you needed that. Um, now, as for the whole concept about the abuse of power, and uh, the the analogy I'm about to use is going to explain backwards. Uh, to the other point, which I talked about, um, well, again, remember, I'm answering your points in reverse, so that would be forwards vis-a-vis -vis your video, backwards vis-a-vis -vis mine. Uh, anyway, so it'll all, it'll explain the other point as well about the uh, about the thing being gross and uh, about the... Um, I have Asperger's syndrome, and one of the most interesting things about relationships for us is because of the fact that we have a severe deficit in terms of social situations, uh, combined with our eccentricities and stuff like that, um, often... Uh, even just to get along in society, um, our spouses have to take on the position of mothers. Yes, I know that that sounds a little gross, but here's hear me out. We still do have the logical capability. We still we still have a very high logical capability, which means that we can still hold our own. It's just that we end up needing uh, we end up needing somebody who, in some cases, to act like uh, full scale parents. My father needed it in particular with uh, with my stepmom to be able to keep him on track. Um, get him to learn his social deficits. I mean, um, this is this is nothing, you know. And as autistic, as people with autistic spectrum disorders, um, we end up having our spouses constantly, you know, help uh, act as teachers, mentors, that sort of thing. Effectively, they have a position of power or guidance, much like a teacher or a parent would when it came to trying to help steer us in society. But at the same time, we're still having a sexual relationship, and that's a non-issue. So if it's possible for that to be happening, then why is it a problem for, uh, for, um, for the, uh, besides the possible abuse of power, uh, for, it to, uh, for there to be uh, in a position of power, uh, uh, for someone in a position of power and someone not in a position of power, as long as the boundaries were clearly drawn on that? And here's where I'm getting to on my next point. Um, I'd, again, I'm, I'm not arguing for the uh, for incest. I'm just simply saying that uh, some of the reasoning you put in your video might be uh, could be better done. Is what I'm saying. I'm, I'm just trying to help you uh, strengthen your argument here. I should have probably said that at the beginning of this video, but um, again, anyway, um, the particular point in relation to this is oh damn it, I lost my train of thought. Ah crap, where was I? Oh right. I remember now. Um, my father, uh, in particular, in my case, um, did something unusual. Uh, my uh, my father doesn't have the um, the sort of authority grip on me. Uh, well, I mean, he does he does now, and he you know he still does to a certain extent. But I will always question him before I actually um, agree to what he's saying. And the reason I would question him is largely because of the fact, uh, and the only reason I largely trust him still is because he's all he's also the uh, he's also the voice of reason. He trained me 
to be hy hyper logical. And he said that uh, at, when I was a teenager, that if there was any point where a moral uh, decision or a decision for the household, he, uh, you know, for household rules he had made, turned out to be illogical or immoral, uh, you know, and I could provide uh, evidence or logical reasoning as to why it was wrong. He would change his more, you know, if I could present him with a logical case for it, then he would change his, uh, he would change uh, his position, and he would change the rule, or amend the rule, depending on, uh, depending if there was something I'd missed. Um, and from that, uh, again, much on this same point, as long as there's a, a logical understanding where two people are on the same mental level, uh, barring the, um, you know, barring the position of power on some level or other, uh, you know, as long as there is a as long as there is a, a level where there is at least some, uh, where, where equality can be gained at some level, like, you know, after the age of consent. After the age of consent, the power, the parent uh, doesn't really hold any power over you anymore, unless, of course, they threaten to cut you out of the will. But that would be abuse, uh, that, you know, that would be abuse like any other type of abuse and should be criminally, criminally prosecuted. The same with the teacher-student type issue, uh, unless, of course, like there was something, you know, like where the student could, uh, you know, if there was actually abuse, the student could, you know, report it uh, via the conventional channels or what have you. But, um, again, my point being is that um, when there is no longer an issue of power, again, as long as there is still uh, the possibility for logic, um, I would like to contradict your point where you say that it's, uh, it's automatically um, purely, um, uh, that it's purely, uh, that it's, that it's the way we've evolved. It's probably not just the way we've evolved, it's probably been the way that we've been taught incorporating actual evolutionary traits. And, um, you know, the fact that we still have that instinct there, that still appeal to authority fallacy. Um, our parents are not right on everything. I question my parents constantly. I always did what back when I was in my teens, and I tried to question them logically because that was the way they trained me to want. They they said they knew they were fallible, and they wanted, you know, they wanted you know me to be on the alert to you know catch them if they were ever wrong, and they do the same for me. And they they treated me at least like half equal, but you know at least there was that rapport there of, of logic, and that was the whole concept. And again. As long as the parent is still, um, as long as the parent is still on that level, and as long as the both of you are still on a logical standpoint, like if the two of you are able to reason it out or connect in some way where the understanding is actually there, then uh, you know, uh, barring DNA problems, incest could be moral. But note that I say could be. There's still a couple of problems with this. One, of course, is that is that uh, parents from older generations have a greater tendency to get set in their ways and to be a little bit more intellectually stubborn. Um, on particular points in relation to both parapsychology and skepticism, I've had this particular problem with my father before. Um, not because he's a skeptic one way or the other, but just because of the fact that I've had trouble trying to express skepticism before I do it. Uh, luckily, he's provided me with some relatively rational thought on his own particular point, but I'm, uh, I'm going to have to call him on a couple of things now that I just realized a couple of flaws in his argument. Not to worry, I digress. Anyway, uh, I think you get my general gist of it. Just trying to help you strengthen your argument. Um, anyway, uh, I hope this helps. Um, this is just my thoughts on it as an Aspie. Um, you know, um, again, I will say what I've said in all my other videos. Um, the bulk of issues for sexual morality and the like uh, pertain to society. You know, barring DNA, uh, bar barring DNA actual issues or actual health reasons. You know, like actual things where serious harm can actually be done. Uh, you know, in one format or another. Then, um, you know, or harm which can't be corrected easily, um, you know, for one format or another, then, um, you know, any, barring that, you know, then I don't really see the point for a large chunk of our sexual and other morality in society. Uh, I still follow the idea of, and it harm none, do what you will. Because if it harms somebody, then, of course, yeah, there's demonstrable evidence. Uh, unless, of course, you can correct for it easily. But, um, unless, of course, you can correct for it. But you get my gist. Anywho. Um, again, like I said, I'm uh, from an agnostic to an atheist. Keep up the good work. Um, again, do try to strengthen your arguments just a little bit. Uh, you might want to do a little bit more on the DNA stuff. Um, uh, uh, but I'm just going to tell. I'm just telling you. Bear in mind the whole power issue and stuff like that. Uh, moral judgment and all that sort of thing. That's kind of uh, arguing on the same level the uh, guy we both responded to was. And um, we probably should be taking a step higher in our logic and critical thinking than he was. He's about here. We should be up about here. So, um, you know, just an idea. Uh, let's try to keep strengthening our arguments. Um, I like the argument initially, though. Uh, otherwise, keep up the good work. Um, in general, you're probably right. I'm just simply saying that there's probably a couple of spots where that could be contradicted, and we might want to polish that just a tad. Otherwise, keep up the good work. Toodles.